This group of children meet every Saturdays in Kanyama compound. They are organized by the Cluster Level Association Women's Groups. And these are some of the activities they do each time they meet. Let's find out more about what they do each time they meet. Let's find out more about children's groups. Join me as I talk to Miss Mutema. How many children's groups uh, do you have? We, we have five children's groups. What is the gender mix? We have boys and girls, and we have more boys compared to girls. Are there changes you have seen in the lives of children as a result of children's groups implementation? Uh, yes, uh, there, there is some change. We, we can now notice that the children are able to share issues amongst themselves and no child is willing to be abused. What no changes child. have you seen in the community as a result of children's groups? Children are now being respected, especially in their homes. They can also share on what is going on in the family and the parents willfully send their children to these groups. you describe your organizational child protection system? Uh, we are on the right track. The community is being uh, sensitized on what child abuse is, on the protection of their uh, children and the provisions and all the children's policies. And our community is coming out to zero tolerance on it. What positive highlights can you share about the child protection policy? We are creating awareness to our community so that they know that the children should be uh, protected and that uh, any cases of child abuse should be reported to the relevant authorities. What are the challenges in child protection policy implementation in your organization? Okay. Uh, the challenges that we have is that not everyone is aware about the uh, children's protection policy and even to those who know, there is these traditional is issues, the cultural issues. You find that someone is trying to mix the uh, children's policy with the culture. What they do is, uh, is a tribe or is a province and uh, that is really uh, a challenge for us to implement the city. Anything special you would like to share? What I would like to share is that all the members of staff and all the club members should know about this children's protection policy. And I would also like to add to this story where Hard Work had taken back two children, uh, three children back to school, those who were neglected by the father. The father ran away from the family and the mother couldn't afford to take the children to school, but Hard Work Cluster Level Association had the means to take back these children to school. Children's groups are very important in every community, for they make the children busy, and that can prevent unwanted bad behavior. Rachel Mbewe, Hope for Africa, Kanyama.